Looks like I've got you backed into a corner. Ready to concede? What? Oh, was it my turn? Yes, it's your turn. You'd think a man playing to stay alive would pay a little bit more attention. Well, it's hard to concentrate when your brief, miserable life is flashing before your eyes, if you don't mind. Um... Uh, You surprise me, Wally. I haven't been this challenged since my recent weekly match with Keith Richards. The Messiah! Oh, jeez! I'm pretty sure that they didn't mean to do that. No matter. This match grows tiresome, and I mean to end it very soon. Oops! Pardon me? I, uh... I said oops. Oops? Yes, oops, my finger slipped off the damn mouse button. Did it? Oh, boy. Well, I bet you didn't want your queen to be there, did you? <laughs> Listen, I'm going to have to have a, uh, an undo. Sorry, but I don't think you're allowed to undo. I mean, we're playing by the rules, right? <laughs> Come on, it slipped. I'd give you an undo. Well, I... Oh, I don't know. How do I know you're not just saying that? Look, you don't, okay? You just have to trust me! I'm death for God's sakes! I'm good for it! Normally I would, but you've got to understand it from my perspective. If you win, I'm toast. Okay. We'll make it the best two out of three. Come on, that's fair. I do want to be fair. Of course, we all want to say, oh, Jesus! The cry out loud! Listen, you little punk! I'm gonna have the wheels fall off that piece of shit and make it look like an accident! So watch where you throw that can! Okay. So I might convince you to go two out of three then. I, I didn't say that. I'm still thinking. Hey, you can trust me? Come on! That big plane crash in Iowa! You think anyone could have survived that inferno without my say so? I honor my word! Well, it's just a. I... Okay, four out of seven. where you can get autopsies and stuff. Really not in the mood, Merc. Aw, oh, come on, check this out. 1-800-AUTOPSY. Established in 1988, is a totally autonomous and mobile-based thanatology specialty company. Look at all the cool services these guys offer, huh? Whoa. A private autopsy can be requested by the legal next of kin, surviving spouse, or legally designated responsible party. Hey, that sounds like it could be me. Could you put me in your will as a legally designated responsible party? Eh? Huh? What on earth for? Well, you know, in case you die under mysterious circumstances, uh... then I could come to the rescue and avenge your death by cutting you open and getting to the bottom of it. Oh, Merc, I'm really not in hey, any look state look at this service! Disinterment, exhumation, synonymous to dig up or remove as from a grave or tomb for the purpose of performance of an autopsy? Whoa, awesome! <laughs> I'll be able to avenge your death, even if you're in the cold, hard ground! Wow! But don't do something stupid like getting yourself cremated, or your killers will go unpunished for eternity. I don't think that's going to be a problem, Merc. Good. Here's some more cool shit. Post-traumatic decomp cleanup service. Cleans and removes biohazardous tissue usually associated with a crime scene. Crime scene. Cleanup. Hmm. You never know when that might come in handy. Merc, I think the service is for the victims, not the perpetrators. Oh. Hey, I bet I could make a lot of money if I offered a cleanup service for the perps. 
I could follow them around and pick up all those hairs and fibers that are always landing them in the clink, huh? Oh, and leave a trail of dandruff in the process leading right to your door. Hey, I'll work out the bugs and get back to you with the prospectus. In the meantime, can we please leave this depressing sight behind? Oh, not yet. I gotta see their merchandise page. Merchandise? Ooh, what do they sell? Wacky things removed from corpses? Autographed celebrity suicide notes? You think? Hmm? And I was gonna be happy with a stupid t-shirt! <laughs> oh, I get it. <laughs> you were being funny again, weren't you? Yes. <laughs> Still, they, they, they do have t-shirts. Oh! And a pen shaped like a femur! Ooh. Brain bookends! Neat! And look, a brain gelatin mold, including a recipe! Oh man, where's my credit card? I gotta have my credit card! Merc, you do not have a credit card, and you never will. Oh yeah? What do you think this is? Oh, Merc, that's the card key from that sleazy motel you stayed in last month. Oh, huh. really? No wonder none of the shit I order ever arrives. Oh, okay. <sighs> Let's go check out the organ donation section. No, 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 no. I, I don't want to check out the organ donation section. I want my organ to stay right where it is. Jeez, lighten up, pal. We're just looking for some laughs. Organ donation. How death saves lives. Hmm? Let's fill out that organ thing and jiggy on your driver's license. Well, me? Well, what about you? As if anyone would take my organs. <laughs> that is, what's left of them? Don't eat my organs. Yeah. That was sweet. <laughs> okay, so hand over your license. Merc, I'm really not comfortable discussing this right now. Aw, oh, come on. You could make some little guy a very happy man. <laughs> Merc, can we please surf to another domain? I'm really not in the mood for this. What's up with you, Mr. Grump? Well, I... Go, let's just say I... I'm waiting for some test results, and it's not going to be good. So you write a makeup test. This is a medical test, Merc. You don't get to go to summer school when you fail this kind. Ah, oh, jeez. Another medical test? You are such one of those guys that always thinks he's sick all the time. What could you possibly have to worry about this time? Oh, Merc. Dear sweet Merc, you're such a babe in the woods. I'm going to miss your naive way. What the hell are you getting at? I guess I might as well come clean. It was a long time ago, but I did something very foolish. Dude, I do foolish things every day of my freaking life. But I don't worry about my health, huh? It was back in university. Oh, I knew those crazy madcap days would come back to haunt me. Oh, here we go. Is this like the time when you almost helped a chick cheat on her sociology test because you had a chubby for her, but then ended up turning her into the dean instead? <laughs> that one cracks me up. I mean, the look that must have been on her face. I mean, uh... <laughs> No, 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 Merc. Such a dick. This was much more wanton than that. I was at a party. A mixer, as they used to call them. I won't get into the sordid detail. Oh, bogus. But that's the best part. Suffice it to say, I had a few drinks, and one thing led to another, and, well, I didn't use a... I didn't use a... Hmm? Oh? A coaster? No, I didn't have protection. You needed mob protection? Man, that was a tough university. No. A rubber, Merc. A, a raincoat for my Johnson. A condom. I didn't use a condom. Oh, shit. I'm in big trouble then. I never wear a condom when I drink. Oh, it wasn't the drinking, Merc. It was the sex. S-E-X. Oh. I was drunk. Drunk and stupid. Oh, and those things. They're so tight and binding. Odd. I never find that. Hmm? Uh, anyway, <clears throat> I'd better start getting my affairs in order. It won't be long now. 
I suppose this means you don't want to look at their franchise application. Huh? Franchise? Yeah, right here on the site. <laughs> you have your little fun, Merc. I'll just sit over here in the corner and contemplate how I've wasted my life. Well, you can suit yourself, but if you want my opinion, sitting in the corner contemplating probably had something to do with all that life wasting. You know, Merc, people lose all control of their bowels when they die, and I sure hope that I drop dead on your sofa. <clears throat> One little observation and he's gonna shit on my couch. Oh yeah! Oh yeah, baby, come on! Oh, that blew right up! <laughs> oh, come on, come on! Just one more munition stop! Come on, come on! No, 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 no! Oh, shit! Oh, man! I didn't even get to kill any civilians! Oh, oh well. Hey, hey, Wally! Yeah, you wanna play? Come on, man, it'll take your mind off a... Uh, huh, maybe not. Oh, come on, buddy. I've got the perfect thing to cheer you right up. It's no use, Merc. My days are numbered. Aw, uh, look, Wally. I know I can be an insensitive dick and a honking pain in the ass. But you gotta believe me when I say, I know what's best for you. My spleen is still sore from the last time you said you knew what was best for me. Yeah, but that 20 minutes leading up to the hemorrhaging, you gotta admit it was worth it. Mm. Aw, oh, come on, I've got the perfect website for you. Cheer you right up. I'm sorry, Merc. You really do care, don't you? What is it? I bet it's the, um, ego booster, hmm? No, even better. <laughs> it's the site where you can write your last will and testament online. I have a feeling you're going to be eating one sooner than I will, Merc. Aw, oh, come on, let's go. I'll take you through it. It'll be fun. Like that time your uncle died. Oh, yes. <clears throat> that was a riot. All right. Last will and testament of A001. Okay, I guess this A001 guy is already dead, so we'll just change that to Wally. A001. That's a catchy name. Hmm. Too bad I'll never live long enough to procreate. <gasps> Poor A001 Junior. Hey, stay with me on this, dude. Come on. I, A001, now known as Wally, residing at A002. Hey, there's some kind of spooky synchronicity to this guy's life. Being of sound mind and in the contemplation of the certainty of death. Hey, this is cool. It's so dramatic. It's almost too bad you're just a whining hypochondriac. You won't be so glib when I'm six feet under. I sure hope I will, because I'm giving the eulogy, aren't I? Anyway, let's get on with this, you know, whole Wally's dying thing. Yes, of course. Geez, somebody's on the rag today. Okay, let's continue. Okay, um, yada, 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 charitable organization. Okay, we can just skip that. I appoint A007 to act as the executor of this will. You think that, uh, that stands for Agent 007? Oh, yes, Merc. Didn't you know? Unless otherwise stated, Sean Connery is the legal executor of all estates. And in the unlikely event of his inavailability, George Lazenby steps in. Wow, I've learned so much from the internet. Now, we'll just appoint me as the executor, leave all your worldly belongings to me, print it out, and you can sign it. W why on earth would I leave you all my worldly belongings? because I'll make sure your big estate auction at Sotheby's is conducted in a dignified and solemn manner. I'll also make sure there's a lot of beer, because drunk people spend more. Hmm. So, what's your net worth? You mean at this moment? Yes. Total liquefiable assets? Go for it. Let's see. Um... Come on, come on, we don't know how much time you have left. Well, yes, well, all right, then a rough estimate would be um, $7, a broken VCR, a Loverboy CD, and an acrylic toque. Bonus, sign here. Oh, hey, what about your car? I plan to be buried in it. Shit, what a waste. You might as well stay alive then. Jeez, you still alive? You can drag out a death scene longer than a berry more. I'm preparing my last words. You mean like, 
What's that button for? Yes, but perhaps a smidge more dignified. Nah, you don't want dignified. You want memorable. You want funny. You want the kind of clever deathbed quip people write in a bathroom wall. Oh, such as? Here, this. <laughs> it's the dying words of famous people. Where? There. Ooh. Check that one out. Hmm? Dylan Thomas's last words. I've had 18 straight whiskeys. I think that's a record. What a maroon! Anybody knows 15 will kill ya! See, that's what you want. Last words that are funny, but educational. Oh, I was thinking something more along the lines of poetry. Poetry? Hmm. What, like a limerick? Like Dickinson, Merck. Because I could not stop for death, he kindly stopped for me. The carriage held but just ourselves and immortality. I still think you're better off with something catchier. Hey, how about this one? Uh, this guy, uh, Thomas L. Grasso? He was about to be executed and he said, I did not get my SpaghettiOs. I got spaghetti. I want the press to know this. See, snappy and to the point. Yeah. <clears throat> Merck, I'm going for a long walk. And I may not be back. Hmm. Not bad. But, but it needs a punchline! Well, I don't know why, but I'm determined to help you overcome this depression of yours. It's not a depression, uh. Merc. I merely became acutely aware of my own mortality due to my impending diagnosis. But, but, but hey, I, I, I found some dudes here who are interested in matters beyond our physical human bodies. Not today, Merc. Oh, come on. Transhumanism. Hmm. It's the philosophy that advocates the use of technology to overcome our biological limitations and transform the human condition. What do you suppose that means? Hmm. Offhand, I'd say, uh, well, they'd want to give up their bodies and live on as disembodied heads in a jar. Oh, jeez, why didn't they just say so then? They could have a catchy slogan right there at the top of the page. Hmm? Transhumanism. The head in a jar, people. These are extreme possibilities, yet they are taken seriously by an increasing number of scientists and scientifically literate philosophers. Who do you suppose that is? Hmm. Well, I think they mean the guy on the corner who yelps like a dog while holding his genitals and jumping up and down. Well, I always suspected that guy was a scientific, literate philosopher. <laughs> I always suspected he was your brother. Well, let's see what else comes up when we search for dead human bodies. Ooh. What have we here? The Visible Human Project. The Visible Man. Is a set of digital images of the body of a 39 year old man, Joseph Paul Jernigan, who donated his body to science after being convicted of murder and sentenced to death. Oh, how about that, Merck? A murderer with a heart of gold. Jeez, how'd they execute him? With a deli slicer? No, no, it says right here he was executed by lethal injection in Texas in 1993. The uh, slicing came later. Oh, right. I hope he got his SpaghettiOs. <laughs> Hmm. Images of the body were first obtained using magnetic resonance imaging and x-ray computer tomography. Ooh. It was then embedded in gelatin, frozen and sliced crosswise into 1,883 transverse slices. Fuck! I knew thought an ice cream headache was a pain. Merck, you're missing the point. This is a highly scientific research project. And what better use for it than to sit here like idiots and giggle at a frozen sliced up dead guy? <laughs> this is what the internet was made for! Oh my. What am I doing? Wasting my time making fun of this poor man? And here I am at death's door myself, for heaven's sake! Oh yeah. Death's door, I forgot. Okay. Since cluing you on to the transhuman future didn't seem to work, and seeing how you'd look frozen, sliced, and diced didn't take your mind off your worries, I'm trying a completely different approach. Oh, do tell. Hold on to your gonads. <clears throat> Here comes the Gremlin page! <gasps> oh, no. 
friggin' huge page devoted to advertising graphics and images of the AMC Gremlin! <laughs> oh my god, Merc. You, you've done it! Not only have I become even more acutely aware of my own mortality, but now I welcome it! <laughs> Anything for a friend! <laughs> hey, look! It's the gremlin with the Levi's denim interior! <laughs> oh, <laughs> baby! <laughs> <laughs> the horror! The horror! <laughs> I think I swallowed a bug. Uh, and that ain't the half of it! Uh, Wait until we see the AMC Pacer site! <sighs> Death, where is thy sting? <sighs> Friends, we are gathered here today to pay our last respects to one Wally Van Drews. Nah, too formal. We better start him off with a quick joke. Oh, must be my order of black carnations. Do 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 Miracle of miracles, Mr. I'm at death's door has made an awful dramatic recovery. Oh, my dear Merc. <laughs> it's like each new day is a gift from above. <laughs> yeah, I used to get a daily gift from above, too. Then Angel and her magic lips moved to Winnipeg. Oh, it's wonderful news, Merc. The test was negative. <laughs> it turns out that all I have is an acute case of diphthomyotosis. Ooh, what's that? Who cares? A little shot of penicillin and I'm as good as new. Penicillin? You should have come to me. I keep a month's supply handy at all times. Hmm. Well, Merc, my yeasty little stick-like friend, where shall we surf to today, hmm? Ooh, wait. There's a small bit of business I must take care of. Excuse me, would you, Merc? Hmm. <laughs> Why, you little prick! I can touch your eye. I'm having an epileptic seizure. Too much Pokemon. Super, 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 super. I shit myself. Merc! Wait, my bot bot. Let me check on the website. <laughs> Man, you're Ambi Davis. I mean, Ambi. Ambi thank you. And whatever color it is you've got on for eye shop, I love it. It's Pooper. Brings out your eyes. Brings out your tits. <laughs> oh, let's this and go home. Squeeze your window. <laughs> hey, where you going, motherfucker? Give me your kick your car, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs>